Excuse me, the dog. Hi, guys. It is a hot, sticky midsummer day in March here in the great state of Texas. Good God. Heading up to pretty much 90 degrees today. Uh, here on Saturday, March 11th, 2023, I guess it is the 12th anniversary of the Fukushima little oops going on. I guess they're, what are they, getting ready to finally start releasing that toxic shit into the oceans, which will get all of the conspiracy wackos panties in a wad. Anyway, but I'm not here to talk about Fukushima. Um, I need to be getting off. I'm finally, the little dog and I have decided to dip our little toe into the biggest party on the planet here, about an hour from here. So we're going to head off and join about three million of our lovable, clueless friends at the South by Southwest Music Festival. But before I go join my clueless, lovable friends, I, I just could not resist. So now, now, guys, I've done a pretty good job. I don't think I have ever mentioned this name before. Only one reason, because I don't know how to pronounce it. I've never heard this name pronounced. Uh, I'm thinking it's Bebert. Is it Bebert? Is it Bobert? Is it dumb fucking clueless bitch? Uh, I think is how you pronounce it. But anyway, this is, you know, that kind of the Marjorie Taylor Green of Colorado. This is this little uh, Donald Trump. Uh, ass licking toady, uh, U.S. Representative Lauren Biebert announces that she is becoming a grandmother at age 36 and praises high rural teen birth rates that, quote, value life. There are many versions of this story. Uh, all over the mainstream media today, mostly the lefty media. So this is Insider, which I think is the same as Business Insider. This clueless bitch, she looks like a cross between, I don't know, uh, she, she's got a lot of Sarah Palin in her. Maybe Sarah Palin is uh, her, uh, may, maybe Sarah Palin had an abortion not an abortion, an, an adoption uh, when she was about 12 and had this clueless bitch. She has a little bit of Palin in her. And I think, was Sarah Palin, wasn't she also a teenage mother? All right, take it away. Business Insider, I'll put the link on here. <clears throat> All right. Let's see, I'm going to skip over the bullets. All right. <clears throat> Representative Lauren Biebert revealed that her 17-year-old unmarried son, Tyler, is about to have a son in April, which will make her a grandmother at age 36. The Colorado Republican praised the high rural teen birth rates as she said, it was evidence these communities, quote, value life. And uh, I am actually in uh, Canyon Lake, Texas, where I am, which is certainly a, uh, a uh, you, you know, a conservative Trump, you know, just solid Trump. Uh, voting area uh, in Texas, so this could apply, I'm sure, to, to Canyon Lake, Texas. All right, quoting Lauren Biebert, quote, I'm going to tell you all for the first time in a public setting that not only am I a mom of four boys, but come April, I will be a geeky is that a Gigi or a Gigi 
or a clueless fucking bitch to a brand new grandson. Yes, Bieber said while speaking at the a conservative political action conference at a CPAC event earlier this week. She said that she and her husband Jason, quote, are so excited to welcome this new life into our family, close quote. Biebert herself dropped out of high school to have her first child when she was a teenager and later got her GED in 2020. So this is someone uh, with a, a GED education with a high school equivalent uh, education. Quote, now my son, when I approached him and told him, Tyler, I'm going to be a 36 year old grandmother. He said, well, didn't you make granny a 36 year old granny? I said, yes, I did. And he said, well, then it's hereditary. <laughs> she said jokingly, yes, it is. Being a clueless fucking moron is hereditary, certainly in small conservative rural communities. The virulently anti-abortion Republican said that when she found out that her teenage son's girlfriend was pregnant, her main concern was whether they would get married. <laughs> I was just joking. I was just joking. There is no mention about this God-fearing, Bible-thumping, clueless fucking bitch ever mentioning uh, her grandson getting married. That is, you, you know, that is such a woke, uh, you, you, that is such a limp dick, lefty, liberal, progressive, old-fashioned idea. Uh, getting married is now no longer part of the rural conservative agenda. No, her main was her main concern was whether they would quote choose life. Mm. Quote. There is something special about rural conservative communities. They value life. If you look at teen pregnancy rates throughout the nation, well, they're the same in rural and urban areas. However, abortion rates are higher in urban areas and teen mom rates are higher in rural conservative areas because we understand the preciousness of the life that is about to be born. Close quote. Yes. So checking her facts, since 2007, the teen birth rate has dropped by about half nationwide and in urban counties compared with falling by a little more, oh, I see, has fallen by about half nationwide in urban counties compared with falling by a little more than a third in rural counties. According to data for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, that's exactly, I used to have a bumper sticker. I need to get that bumper sticker or the t-shirt. Uh, Katie, if you're listening to this, can you find me the pregnancy is a sexually transmitted disease t-shirt and bumper sticker. I uh, don't know what happened to my pregnancy is a sexually transmitted disease, but I love it how the uh, CDC keeps track of uh, teenage birth rates. <clears throat> Biebert, and Biebert said that she and her husband will do everything to support her unmarried son and his girlfriend and quote, 
make sure that they are amazing parent parents that they have the love and support that they need yes so we have 967 comments uh, here is my daughter is pregnant she waited to get educated get a career bought and designed her own house and got married all before turning 27 i like to think i raised her right well uh compared to ms biebert um here is carlos the interesting thing is that white Republican voters like to have a lot of babies when they are uneducated and the government needs to take care of, care of them. Hmm. Yes. Here is Freddie being proud of teen pregnancy trailer park mentality 70 thumbs up here is white trashology 101 58 thumbs up here is here is the real question will he be marrying the girl 63 thumbs up here is you know Beebert is a big uh, gun advocate. Will this be a shotgun wedding or an AR-15 wedding? 80 thumbs up. Here is with 92 thumbs up. White evangelical Republicans make an exception when white evangelical teenagers get get married and pregnant and drop out of high school I think he I think that's the typo teens do not get married and pregnant and drop out of high school because if black people do that they are held up as future welfare cases and the problem with America yes. uh, I guess here is one person who does not realize that Colorado is not a poor southern state. Uh, here is Backseat Biebert, Pride of the Trailer Court. Yep. Palin Part 2 a bimbo to nowhere. Here is more teenage pregnancies is the Republican way. So she has no morals and did not teach her kids any. Here is Biebert takes pride that her 17 year old son knocked up a teenage girl in high school that pretty much says it all. How about putting more emphasis on teaching birth control measures to teens? <laughs> I assure you that Lauren Biebert and her whole fucking Donald Trump ass-licking ilk would be horrified at the, if you teach birth control methods to uh, people, uh, to kids, you are grooming them. That's grooming. Grooming children is teaching them birth control methods. Anyway, I gotta wrap this up because a little dog and I, uh, we have to get out there and meet about three million of our closest, clueless, lovable friends while we still can. 
Bye, guys.